In today's Cubase Quick Tip video, I'm going to show you a number of MIDI note functions that are very useful. So to access the MIDI note functions menu, you have to click control and right click on a PC or command and right click on a Mac. And as you can see, there's a whole list of functions that are available to us. And I'll point out some of the ones that I uh, am familiar with and use. So the first one is fixed lengths. So imagine I recorded this and wanted everything to be exactly the same length. I would first decide what that length is going to be and set it with the quantize panel. I can set it to, let's say, 1 8 of a bar. And then when I click on those notes and go to function and click fixed lengths, it adjusts each of these notes to the length that's set as in the quantize panel. I could do the same thing for fixed velocity and the velocity that it sets it at is going to be determined by this here, this note insert velocity. So you can change that. And that's instrumental for when you create new notes. That's the velocity that it's going to be set at. Not only can you adjust this exactly to what you want, but there's a sort of quick menu that you can set up yourself and adjust five different levels um, as a kind of preset. So that's quite handy. There's also a function to delete notes based off of their minimum length or minimum velocity. So based on this, let's say I wanted to delete this note and this note because they're too low in velocity. Maybe I'll set this to something like 60. And maybe I want to delete all the little tiny notes here. So I would go something like um, half of a quarter bar, so one eighth. So let's go just under that. And then when I select both, remove when under. Actually, I would go one of because I want to delete one or the other. It doesn't, this is like a logical editor where if I have both, it both has to be a small note and also has to have this minimum velocity to uh, delete. So if I go with uh, one of, you'll see the notes that were small got deleted and the notes that had uh, lower than 60 velocity got deleted. So let's say I recorded a bunch of notes that were overlapping with other notes on the same relative pitch. I would highlight those, click functions and delete overlaps and the mono that then adjusts those note lengths so they do not pass the beginning of the next note. I can do a similar thing where by if there was a note that was overlapping in the, in the general time sense like this here, it's not on the same note, but when we click functions and poly, then it adjusts notes so that it's never touching each other or overlapping um, in the poly sense. If we selected the mono delete, you see it does not do that. And lastly, there are two functions left that I want to show. It's reverse and mirror. And these are almost the same, but I'll, I'll show you uh, with this example. When I click reverse on this entire events worth of MIDI notes, you could see it's not exactly uh, an exact reverse, there's some notes that are actually overlapping. Um, I think what it's doing is it's quantizing it in a certain way. And if I was to do mirror, it's actually going to preserve um, the note spacing. So it's n there's no notes overlapping. I think this is more like a true uh, flip of sorts. Reverse is almost like um, flipping with a quantize uh, of a particular kind. So that is it for this video. There are plenty of other functions, um, especially uh, when you get into some of the logical presets and you can actually go into the logical editor and this is where you can uh, use logical functions 
to basically compute and change things in in a in a certain way using logical functions. So that is it. Thank you for watching and take care. Bye bye.